Tesla's auto park or auto parking feature, probably one of the most underrated and understated features of a Tesla. A lot of people are focusing on autopilot, semi-autonomous and autonomous driving, but auto park is a quite impressive feature on its own. Very unique, I think, to Tesla. Let me know in the comments if there are other cars that do it like Tesla. As far as I know, Tesla is the only one that does sort of the full auto parking functionality, meaning the car completely parks itself once a parking spot is identified, doesn't require any additional input from the driver, unless to take over an emergency or if it's gonna hit something, it doesn't require input. So it accelerates, brakes, changes the gear uh, all by itself. So if you know of any other cars that do it just like that, let me know in the comments. But this video specifically is talking about mastering the auto park feature within a Tesla. Okay, so this is the way it works. The car has sensors all around it, uh, not unlike other cars. A lot of people say, or a lot of companies say, uh, the car is gonna scan for parking spots itself or uh, look to find parking spots by itself. That's not the case with any of the cars, uh, nor is it the case with Tesla. So the idea is that you find the parking spot, you identify it, and then you have to allow the car to scan the parking spot by driving past it, allows it to scan it, measure it, make sure that the car can fit, once you drive past it and it's scanned and identified the parking spot, now you're ready to pull into it. So the idea is to scan the parking spot, pull past the parking spot, make sure you signal so someone doesn't sweep in behind you and take it, and then allow the car to uh, take over the, uh, the parking feature from there. You won't touch the brake or the accelerator. The car will handle the acceleration and braking as well as gear changes and steering all by itself. Uh, and, just, and just go from there. So what you do wanna do is keep your head on the swivel. You wanna be aware of your surroundings. You wanna make sure uh, that people aren't walking past you or walking around you. The car will see them, but depending on how crowded the parking spot is, uh, it's a best practice just to keep your foot ready for the break in case you need to take over. If at any point uh, during uh, the parking process that you need to break, you can always break manually and then resume the auto park once it's clear and safe to continue auto parking. This is an issue really only when you have a crowded parking spot, people walking in the middle of the road or walking to and from their car at high volumes. Uh, those are the cases where you really don't wanna use auto park if it's really congested. But if it's not congested and you have time to spare, you wanna engage auto park. One downside to auto parking with, with the Tesla is the car is very slow to park. So if you're in a hurry, don't use auto park. If it's very crowded, don't use auto park. Use the auto parking feature uh, when it's convenient for you and when you have time to spare because it does take its time, trying to be safe, moves very slow, but it does a really good job of parking. The one thing to note also is that the car will also bias towards the front of a parking spot. So if it measures a parking spot, it'll bias you towards the front. So sometimes you may need to make an adjustment where you back up a little bit just to make it even or give the car in front of you some more space to get out. But if you're in a parallel parking can, uh, spot, it's always going to bias towards the front. Another good aspect of the auto parking feature is that it's always on. It's very seamless. It's not something I have to activate. A lot of cars that I've driven and I've seen uh, allow you to do this similar feature where they allow you to modulate the brake or modulate the accelerator accordingly and the car takes care of the steering, but it, you have to activate this feature in order for it to work. So you're pressing a button uh, while you're driving at low speeds and parking lots to activate it. Tesla's great because it's always on. I don't have to activate anything. I only, only need to put it in gear and give the command to say, yes, I want you to take over and park the car for me in perpendicular and parallel spots. So very cool feature. Uh, I use it a lot, maybe more often than I should. It does a great job of parking. I know some people may have issues uh, with the car, maybe hitting the curb, curbing up their rims. Definitely get your sensors looked at, make sure that they're calibrated and configured the right way. If you find this video helpful, if this is uh, helping you to understand more about your Tesla that you've just bought, great. If you're looking at this video, looking to buy a Tesla and this is helping you to make that decision, go ahead and use that referral code below. Use the referral code below, uh, get your unlimited free supercharging, and I'll see you in the next video.